Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your NWA Power, episode 16. Review! Um, if I can be honest, this is coming from me, who's been, who's actually supported NWA Power. I'm sorry, I did not really enjoy this episode. You know, I get it, it's a fucking hour show, and I guess they're doing the best, but here's the thing. I really feel like they're unfortunately like appealing, like you're trying to like cater to like more of the smarky fans in a way now because unfortunately now they're fucking having, they're going to be, they're, their main feud now apparently is going to be fucking Marty Skrull versus Nick Aldis. Are you fucking kidding me? Nick, a fucking Marty Skrull. This fucking, like first of all, I don't even give a fuck about Marty Skrull. I don't even know who the fuck I care about this dude. All I know is this guy's a fucking sparse delight. This dude is, a, is your typical midget fucking dude who just stupid kicks and shit. Has no actual fucking character. Oh, but he wears a mask! He wears a mask with a pointy nose. Like, who fucking cares? For God's sakes. Oh, and he has an umbrella. Well, he can take his umbrella and shove it up his fucking poopy hole. Because for God's sakes, who gives a fuck about Marty Skrull? Are you fucking kidding me? This is fucking our and he, and he oh he's British. Okay, who cares? Fucking Nick oh this is British and he's actually a better fucking wrestler with a character and shit. So good on fucking Nick Aldis, aka Magnus. Like for God's sake, he actually improved from TNA and he actually is deserving like the fucking world champion at the moment. And for God's sake, he fucking he's not gonna fucking face fucking oh, are you kidding me? God damn it. So I'm sorry I did not like this episode. I didn't. Like, you could have done, you could have done, like, there are definitely past episodes that were better. Uh, and plus, I just think, like, especially because, wow, stall, like, there's, I'm not saying this show is, like, the worst. Because there are some decent things on it. You had, you still had some good wrestlers on, for example, fucking, wait a minute, did I say late night, by the way? Okay, it's like late out of the day, by the way. Okay, it's like, but it's time for your fucking NWA Power Review, anyways. But, they had fucking, I like the Eli Drake and James Storm shit. I like them fucking, they're, it's cool, you know, them teaming up together. Um, Damien Sandow is still fucking doing good stuff. Uh, with the fucking karate dude. A uh, fucking karate, question mark, motherfucker. Um, besides really that, like, there's nothing else I care about, you know what I mean? So, I'm sorry, didn't really give a fuck about the entire show. Or just didn't, just thought it was like, not even good, you know what I mean? So, and plus, like, there was things that didn't make sense to, uh, all fucking talk about. So grab your soda wine glass, in this case, a nice soda size glass. Anyways, just grab a soda, just get yourself a Coca-Cola, or whatever soda you love, and drink it magnificent as you can. Alright, I know it's been, it's been a while I've been drinking soda wine glass, but you know what? I, I just love my stylish glass. This is fucking better than a stupid stylish glass by Styles. This is fucking a only stylish glass you can get. I'm keep saying style, this style splash. It's like whenever it says stylish, but it's a stylish class, and it can give you a good stylish class for anything. <laughs> Myra, I feel like a fucking hacky fucking YouTube channel. And what moy annoys me the most is that you got peep these fucking weird YouTube channels and rest like wrestling YouTube channels. Like, oh, you'll smash that fucking uh, f do a phenomenal four on on a fucking comment section, a fucking and do a fucking coup de gras on a fucking like and fucking uh. Uh, smash that fucking, uh, KO punch on the fucking subscribe. Like, if you guys did not know, do not notice that, that fucking unfortunate YouTubers fucking do that shit, that is so fucking hacky and gay. I'm sorry, okay? I, fucking this whole style, like, this whole thing I said about style, styles clash and shit, again, is my action, but for God's sakes, like, in a way, it kind of makes, it kind of sound fucking more, doesn't sound as gay, for God's sakes, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking gay. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Oh shit! Oh shit! You're not gonna fuck. The, you're not gonna fuck this like down to be like catch with them. Go. Oh shit! Oh shit! You know? If you wanna fucking talk talk about wrestling moves, you know what you gonna do? Do tombstone pile drive on a bitch and fuck her right there. That's the ultimate sex position. You got the fucking ass. She's fucking sucking your dick. That's fucking the ultimate wrestling move. All right? Or fucking even the styles class. Style class with a fucking stylist glass of a soda and a wine glass. And that's fucking good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. So let's talk about this fucking show. 
Um, I was not motivated to do a review. It just like, it, too, like first of all, it's too much wrestling. And fuck it, just I don't know. It's like I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not trying to say that this show is terrible. Or it's like losing a spark. But the thing is, it's kind of like losing a spark. I'm not gonna lie. Especially because like maybe if they actually have like good wrestlers on the show, they like for example, like compared the first episode to like this episode, like wow. wow. But it's whatever. So so starts with Nick. Oh, yeah, they didn't even have the Into the Fire song, you know. So that makes me wonder, like, what the fuck's going on, man? You had a great theme song, man. That didn't fire me up, you know. <laughs> Show starts with Nick Aldis. He cuts a promo saying that he calls the shots. Says that the private meeting that w was um, they filmed will air later tonight or that night where we get last night about fucking the whole. Um, him apparently having an interview with fucking Marty Squirrel. Um, but I, I, I do like Nick Aldis, what he's doing as a heel, a fucking just, just in general talking, you know what I mean? I mean, I, honestly, I think they're not even scripted, you know what I mean? I think that they know what the fuck they're doing, they're not fucking, like, scripted, so I think that's pretty cool. Like, for God's sake, they're interacting with the fans, whatever they fucking say, they fucking say, like, what they're fucking, you know, they fucking actually comment what they're fucking saying, so I think that's fucking great. Um... Yeah, so I give it, I give that to NWA, and especially fucking goddamn, um, you know, fucking Nick Aldis is doing a great job fucking on the mic. He's doing good on his stick. So yeah, the first match, Royce Isaac with Mae Valentine, that fucking porn star looking bitch, who's actually hot as fuck, I'll fuck her in the big black cash figure, go, oh shit, oh shit, defeated Andre Gunn or something. Um, yeah. But the thing is, here's the fucking problem. For some reason, there's dissension. For no reason. Why is there dissension between May Valentine and Royce Isaac? Literally, like, after a match. For, for God's sake, the guy still won his match. So that makes no fucking sense. Why is he angry? You know what I mean? Unless, like, oh, because he had, apparently they said, like, he hasn't had sex yet with her. Uh, okay, he still got the bitch though. You know what I mean? Who cares? You know that fucking sex will fucking be worth it. Hey, fucking do it on Valentine's Day. You'd be fucking good. All right, fucking just don't. You don't need to complain. My God, you gotta wait, man. You got the bitch. You complaining and shit and like what the fuck? It's like he still won the match and he fucking is like angry at the bitch. Like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Then fucking we see Ricky Starks. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of Ricky Starks. I hope Ryback would join NW Power and bully the motherfucker. That's what I hope for. I hate Ricky Starks. He's the equivalent to your smarts to life. And the guy is fucking television champion. It's like, uh, I hate it. I'm sorry, I don't like Ricky Starks. I'm sorry, I don't. I really don't. Before they were like, they showed like a commercial or something, like a highlight or something about. The Dawsons and fucking Eddie King. I don't care. Um, but yeah, fucking this is also... But during this segment, Ziggy Dice comes out and fucking... I don't know, challenges him or something. Then the second match, Zick, Ricky Starks to be Ziggy Dice. It's fucking just the gayest match. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck about both of them. So. Gay looking dudes wrestling. Alright. And fucking Aaron Stevens. Uh, oh yeah, before, before that, fucking... Yeah, the tag, the new tag chance comes out, fucking Eli Drake and James Storm. They say they don't have a n name of their team, but it doesn't matter because they're the champs. It, it, they're, they can talk, you know, it's good stuff. That's like the only good thing of the show, honestly, along with the fucking Aaron Steen interrupting. Uh, they fucking talk. Fucking just about, oh, like, you know, just lead up to fucking probably a future tag match, you know what I mean? But it's, it's good. Because I like the characters, you know. I like how they, they actually can talk and crap. It's a good argument. But then at least, like, um, Trevor Murdoch coming out and actually a fucking um, challenging Aaron Stevens. So I kind of am actually intrigued. Because I'm not going to lie. I don't mind Trevor Murdoch. For God's sake, Trevor Murdoch, world champion. I don't care. Or fucking television champion. I don't care, actually. I think, like, fucking, you know... Yes, like, you know, like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it, I like Trevor Murdoch somewhat, so. 
I was definitely liked him more than Ricky Starks, so I fucking will say that. So yeah, it's gonna happen next week. I guess something for the national champion, I'm guessing. But it's whatever, it's cool. So that's happened, and then the main event segment. Aaron Stevens, fucking not Aaron Stevens, fucking Aldis and fucking Ricky. Sh no, sorry, I'm sorry. They're all stupid gay fucks. Fucking Al Nick Aldis and fucking Marty Scurll's interview. It's just something to lead to, like, oh, ah, uh, we know each other, we're fans or something. We're British, and I don't give a fuck, you know, like, I don't give a shit. He's gonna, ch he's gonna fucking face this sh indie schmuck, and it's gonna happen fucking for the world title, like, seriously. And apparently, oh, if fucking Marty Skrull loses, the fucking fans will get a refund. He has to pay the fans for a refund. <laughs> okay. So, but, th so that means, like, wouldn't it make sense if fucking Nick Aldis, if he loses, like, he has to refund the fans or something? Isn't that, like, more of a heel thing? It makes no sense. I'm sorry. And, like, I'm sorry. I don't want... I don't give a fuck about fucking Marty Skrull. First of all, this guy just debuted and he's already getting a title shot. It's not like he's fucking, like, Scott Steiner for fuck's sake. It's not like he's a big fucking star. He's gonna fucking face Nick Aldis. Are you fucking kidding me? And he's gonna be already getting a shot of the title, you know? Give me a fucking break! <laughs> oh man, uh, I'm sorry. I don't. I'm like, come on. This is the match. Fuck! Like, who's like not even like competing for the world title? Uh, like, and he's not like champ. I don't know. It's like in the storyline. Fuck! I wouldn't mind seeing Scott Steiner. Fucking, like, versus Nick Aldis, you know, the idea, like, oh, he lost the title match, like, he lost the fucking six-man tag. This could have led to something. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Isn't Scott Steiner there? I don't know what to say. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know, because, like, uh, really, we're going to see Nick Aldis versus Maurice Girl. God help me. Um, so, that's, that's fucking End of a Power. I'm sorry. Not really a good show. Wasn't really, like, inter entertained as much. Only, like, really one segment, and that was really fucking the whole Aaron Stevens question mark and fucking Eli Drake and Dream Storm. That's, like, it, literally it. I'm sorry. So, you know, that just constructed criticism, you know. Both people hope, even, like, I, I know, unfortunately, Sparky fans do watch this show. And then, like, you know, they're going to be the ones that are going to probably, like, hate, like, complaining, like, because, like, oh, because yeah, I, I know, because this is, like, not fucking goddamn, it's, like, it's kind of, like, smarky to review a show that's not on television, I get that, but after all, it is NWA, they're coming back, you know, and you want the show to improve, you want the show to be good, because for God's sake, it's, like, they're, they, at least, yeah, they're doing something, for example, they're fucking actually being, like, an alternative, they're a studio show. They have so, the old school mentality. But, again, you're not, like, the thing is, like, I'm not a fan of fucking Ricky Starks and, like, Marty Skrull. And, like, it's, come on. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, something about fucking, well, yeah, before, what was I going to say? I forgot. Fucking during the show. Oh, Thunder Rosa got into, I don't give a fuck. Well, I care about Alina. You know what I mean? But that's it. That's all I have to say about the show. Sorry, that's like I'm not entertained as much. So I'm just keeping it real, motherfuckers. Gotta be muscles, gotta be abs, gotta be black couch, you fuck your bitch from the couch. And drink this soda in a nice styles glass. You know? And drink a magnificent. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. The wine glass is interesting. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Until next time, everybody. Peace. Yeah, bye. That's it. Just keep it real there.